This is chapter 25, and it's the last chapter of the middle section of the book called Today. After this, the next section is called Tomorrow. Chapter 25 In the early evening, Jadra combed and braided Isadora's hair and tied purple ribbons to the ends. She brought piles of blankets to the kitchen and made soft beds on the floor. You both need to rest now. We must leave in the middle of the night. I'll wake you when it's time. Lola and Churro curled up together between Max and Isadora. Are you excited? whispered Max. Yes, said Isadora, but I wish you could come with me even after tomorrow. You'll have Rosalina, and there will be a guardian. You won't be alone. He hoped it was true. He hoped she'd always have someone to protect her. Besides, he teased, you'll forget me soon enough. No, I won't. Not ever. He smiled. Maybe someday when I'm a famous footballer, you'll find me and come see me play. I will find you, said Isadora. Even though it wasn't likely, imagining it made Max happy. It was dark and cozy in the cavern. Lola moaned in her sleep. Max thought Isadora had drifted off too until she said, One more story. He was glad to keep talking. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was very tired but could not go to sleep. Every time her eyes closed, they popped open again like a caja sorpresa. It was only after she heard a magical song that she was finally able to slumber. He sang, Arroro mi niña, arroro mi sol, arroro un pedazo de mi corazón. And Isadora continued, Este, esta niña linda, ya quiere dormir. Háganle la cuna de rosa y jazmín. You know this song? asked Max. Isadora yawned and murmured, All mothers sing it to their children. My mother sang it to her, to me, and her mother sang it to her. Was that why Max remembered it? Somewhere long ago and far away, had his mother sung it to him? Max hum, hummed the song softer and slower until Isadora was asleep. Buelo was right. It was going to be hard to say goodbye. <laughs>